Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching my YouTube channel AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we will talk about first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermo dynamics it is the first law of thermodynamics was given or postulated by joule so it is also known as also known as joule's law right also Previously in your uh, elementary education, you have known this law as law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy. What was the law of conservation of energy? It said, said that energy is neither be created nor been destroyed it can only be transferred from one form to another right now but we are talking about thermodynamics so the statement will uh, the sense of uh, the first law of thermodynamics will be same as that of uh, your law of conservation of energy but the statement will be little bit different which suits your concepts of thermodynamics. The statement is like that. For a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle, for a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle, the summation of heat transfer is equal to summation of work transfer. Right? Let's write it. For a closed system undergoing a thermodynamic cycle summation of heat transfer is equal to summation of work transfer that is summation of Q is equal to summation of W this is your first law of thermodynamics and note, should note here, that it's valid only for cycle. It is not valid for process. Right? So, you can see from this formula itself that summation of Q is equal to summation of W. It says that uh, the heat is transferred the whole heat is transferred to work which validates our law of conservation of energy that says that energy is neither been created nor been destroyed it can be transferred from one form to another form because these two are two different forms of energy now as we know we have to get a sign convention for this when heat is added to the system it is taken as positive 
right and when heat is rejected it is negative so with this uh, pictorial representation you can get a clear picture of this such that it is the system if heat is added it's positive when heat is rejected from the system q is negative see if you see uh, the sign convention for work done for work done it was like this the system if heat uh, work is done on the system it is negative and when work is done by the system it was positive so you see when heat is rejected it's negative here and when the system does work it's positive when heat is added to the system is positive and when work is done on the system is negative means just opposites right again you should note here note here that what i have said summation of q is equal to summation of w first law is applicable for both reversible as well as irreversible cycles right this is your first law of thermodynamics